that you pulling in? It's, 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 it's right there for you, queen. It's waiting for you. Come on in, because I ordered you a jalapeno Rita, spicy Rita. It hasn't hit the table yet. Yes, yes, y'all. This is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for watching, clicking on this link. I haven't been around for quite a moment now. If anyone is following my journey, you know I've been in my A, and I'm not even ashamed to tell you that I've gone through a woof a different type of year in 2024 but 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 like they all say and as you probably know there is beauty in ashes so even if i've been through a lot i am finally back in here to share with you a lot that i've been going through with hopes that it will inspire you educate you or possibly i don't know maybe even entertain you so today we're gonna get all the way into my log journey because um can we say neglect? Yes, I am definitely um, have not been paying attention to my hair as much as I used to. But again, all of that is on an upswing. If you know what I'm talking about, go ahead and just drop a comment. Give your girl some support. So in this video, what we are doing today, I am going to groom my locks because I'm getting a retie um, tomorrow, <laughs> in fact. And one of the things that I like to do to prepare my hair for a retie is to go through my hair and cut out those little strands that um, grow outside of my lock or the strands that are left behind from, you know, many, many reties and just, you know, strands of hair that I just never snipped off. And for me, grooming my hair is not so much about reducing frizz, even though that is a benefit, okay, for those of us who experience frizzy locks, maybe, you know, grooming is something you can look into. But honestly, for me, grooming my locks is an act of safety because I have thin hair and I don't have a lot of hair. My density is low. So once those strands start to really come out of the locks, running my fingers through my hair can become, you know, a little bit like, you know, girl, you better be careful, child. You know what I'm saying? So I am showing you guys how I do it. And this is kind of like a messy groom anyway. I'm not trying to get to every single lock. I'm really only concentrating on the locks that bug me. And when I tell you some of these, like, look, we're going to do a little close up trying to show you guys. We're going to figure this out. This whole system is a little strange for me. I don't know if you guys can see that. My hair is gray, but it's just, you know, hair that pops out. And over time, you know, with shampooing and running my fingers through the hair, that hair becomes kind of neglected and overlooked. And then it transforms <laughs> just like any other strand on your hair, on your head does when you're on your lock journey. So that's definitely something we are going to discuss today. I am going to show you the results of my retie and also most importantly, see what I'm saying? So I did see some really interesting comments that I'm going to go ahead and answer while we're doing my hair. So let's just get into it real quick, okay? All right, so this comment was left on my video for my lit low density braid out on low density hair. And the comment goes, finally, someone with the same density as me and a very honest video as well. Thank you for telling it. Like, thank you for telling us it like it is thank you for leaving this comment sorry i'm reading this with my um, reading glasses on so I'm, i am struggling but i appreciate that comment because as far as i'm concerned what's the point if i'm going to share any part of my hair journey if i'm not going to you know keep it real and to be very honest it's not easy all the time for me to be transparent about my hair but at the same time when i go to youtube and I'm looking for inspiration or motivation and most importantly, information, something that I want to learn. So I want to continue to be that for you. Y'all, this comment was so good. It spoke to me. I had to turn around and address it. All right. Let me tell you one of the best pieces of advice that I received when I got my locks to leave my hair alone. My hair is thin. My density is low. And my hair has always been like this. No matter what happens throughout my lock journey, one thing that is never going to change is my density. My hair may 
appear to be thicker, stays enabled fuller than others. The locks may continue to expand and swell. But that scalp that I see in my hair every single day, every time that I need a retie, I just got a retie, it doesn't even matter. That scalp is gonna show. If you are new on your journey and you kind of have, you know, that kind of hair like I have and it's an uncomfortable feeling to see your scalp all the time, that is true, but there's nothing we can do with that. So my best piece of advice to give to you would be to accept it. Accepting something is not easy for everyone to do. It doesn't take the same amount of time. Some of us can accept things faster than others, but it doesn't really matter how long it takes because at the end of the day, the hair that you have on your head, the strands that are gonna grow out of your scalp are going to continue to do and behave the same way your hair has always behaved. So, mm -hmm. you gotta accept it, child. That's it. All right, so let's get into the next comment. Whoa, okay. So I have a video on my channel, My Sister Locks Retie Horror Story with a licensed cosmetologist. This is a recount of an experience I had with a loctician who was lacking. And because she jacked my hair up, and not just because of that, but because the whole experience was just so like grotesque, I decided to like express myself and share my experience on my channel so that people could pretty much be aware, right? So, oh my God, thank you for your honesty. I really wanna embark on this journey, so this is so helpful. I need to make sure I find a good loctician. Yes, ma'am, make sure you find a great loctician. And skill set aside, even though that skill set really truly matters, in my experience, having been with my one and only loctician for you know over three years, I think we're at three and a half years at this point. One thing that I appreciate so much about having my appointments with her is that I get to commune with her for that time that we spend together. She is highly knowledgeable about a lot of things. She and I click on a personality level. And I also trust her professionally. I'm thinking that when you're looking for your loctician, I know that cost matters. I know that convenience matters. I do understand that. I know time matter matters, but I would say that just also look at the person behind that particular title because you will be spending a considerable amount of time with that person, especially if you plan to have them maintain your locks, you know, over time. And look at this. Look, I'm pulling out another little hairy beetle. Okay, bye bye. All right. So the last comment, could you please tell me about knots? I have them on my roots. Please help me, please. First of all, I apologize that someone put knots in your hair and I mean that because you are not supposed to have knots in your hair and especially not on your roots so um okay so just public service announcement guys don't let people play in your hair I'm on my way to meet my friend Katrina I don't know if I ever shared this with you but I'm originally from New York and I've been living in Atlanta for five years. My husband and I came down at the end of 2019. And before I moved down, people were like, oh, Nick, you coming down? You gonna move down? You come down? We're gonna get together? We're gonna get together? Yeah, 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 we're gonna get together. No, we don't get together. Like people I've known for years and decades and all that, like, you re literally don't get with them. I've learned people who are not in your life, in your hometown, may not necessarily be in your life in your new town. If you are an older transplant in a new city, please take it from me. Get yourself a good old Facebook community group somewhere somehow and reach out to people based on your, you know, your common interests because my friend Katrina, who was my first Atlanta friend, she brought me into her friend circle and that was very very nice and now I'm meeting up with her for happy hour. I am going to let you guys meet her 
and see this really cool restaurant that I'm going to. I think it's in, it's in Hapeville, Haperville, Hape, 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 Hapen, Hape, Hape, Hapville, Hapeville, Hapeville. I just finished shampooing my hair, so I am ready for my retie tomorrow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. This oh, is that you pulling in? Yes, this is me. I ordered you a jalapeno margarita. Spice hasn't hit the table yet. So, um, you know, that's gonna be the goal. Clink, 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 clink. One of the reasons why I'm meeting up with Katrina today is because my friend Katrina has a social group for ladies oh. like us in the Atlanta. Oh, 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 wow, in the Atlanta area. And so we just met up over drinks to talk about the plans for the events we have coming up for the end of the year. Oh, and then, hey, Jamie, girl. Celebrate her birthday three times a year. Oh, really? Yes. That's what she said. <laughs> and, and that is what I say. And we're just as you're walking in, she's telling me about the first celebration, which is going to be pre birthday. Oh. Okay. When's your birthday? March 24th. Today is October. <laughs> I thought she was going to say December. I love seeing these ladies for happy hours, but child, I had to run before it got dark because I do not drive at night in these Atlanta streets, okay? At this point, I'm three and a half years on my lock journey. So when I do shampoo my hair, I try to do it once every seven to 10 days. And sometimes I don't always, you know, make it. Sometimes it goes a little bit longer, but definitely no more than two weeks. And every time I shampoo, my first shampoo is always going to be with a clarifying shampoo. Then I'm going to do a moisturizing shampoo and I'm going to finish with conditioner. But really, really important pro tip is to always make sure that once your, um, your hair has dried, that you are separating the locks because separating the locks is important for my hair health. You know what I'm saying, guys? So you washed it and she's going to tie it? Yes. Okay. Listen to my language, okay? I learned it from your video. Oh. What, how, what to say. Yeah. And you guys, this is exactly why I have a YouTube channel because I know that people watch my content and I know that people are learning. I know that people are being inspired and I really truly hope people are being empowered in their lives. So my content is going to change y'all. I'm going to take you even deeper into my life. I'm going to show you the work that I do in hospice and in elder care. I'm going to show you the house that I'm working on that I'm hoping to turn into a rental for maybe seniors or for traveling nurses. I'm going to show you what it's like to be married. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm a puppy mom. But yeah, we're not going to stop this lock journey and I'm not going to stop inspiring you. Come with me to get my retie, okay? Fresh retie. Boom, 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 boom. Fresh retie. Boom, boom, boom. Thanks for watching you guys and if you made it this far in the video, please drop down in the comment section Drop me an emoji. Let me know any topics that you want me to cover and we'll keep it popping. Bye